Anthropic just dropped AI-powered apps yesterday out of nowhere. They've rolled out their own app store in Claude and allow you to take artifacts that you've already built and share them with others. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a single prompt, trying to build an app in Bolt and with Claude, and we'll see what the results are. And I'll show you kind of the process of going and publishing an app on Claude. So let's get into it. I wanna test various aspects and see which of these AI tools is better at just managing these things. I've tried to refine my prompt to be as clear as possible, and I'll be walking you through exactly what I've done. So the idea that I'm trying to program here is a group scheduling app. Something pretty straightforward where anyone can go in, they don't need to create an account, they just have a group ID, and then when they have that group ID, they can just immediately add their name and select what times are available for them. Should be pretty straightforward. I need to have it be both mobile friendly and desktop. I would like to have optimal time recommendations. So if me and two other people say that, you know, four to 7 p.m. on a Wednesday is ideal, I want that to show up. And then for some bonus points, I'd also like some location-based stuff. So we each put in our address and then it shows us stuff that's in between all three of us, as well as some basic settings, the ability to add or edit users, and just making sure it's a really straightforward thing. I've also asked for a logo to be made. And for technical perspective, I asked it to use React, do local storage with data persistence, and I'll include the code in the description below. I'll try to publish both apps so you guys can play around with it and let you make the decision on which one you think is better. So complete transparency, I vibe coded this entire thing. I specifically just wanna see the power of each tool. So I was not making any kind of coding changes after the fact, I'm just taking it as it gives it to me. Uh, I had about five follow-up prompts on each tool to make certain changes. For Bolt, I needed to make some UI changes and add some buttons that weren't there. And for Claude, I had also had to make some UI changes and some functionality changes. Uh, and I'll kind of cover that as I, I look at each tool. All right, so let's get into it. On the left, we have Bolt. And on the right, we have Claude's artifact. So for Bolt, I literally just created a brand new account and immediately started with this prompt. For Claude, I used Sonnet 4 with extended thinking. If you go to Claude right now, you should see a new icon called Artifacts. And if you click on that, you'll be able to see some inspiration as well as my artifacts. Now, your artifacts will be everything from any prior chat you have. So if you had something that you were creating and you wanna publish it for some reason, you can. Going back here, you can see that I actually use the exact same prompt on both. So if we actually go to the preview, I'm going to the final version of both. We can see here are what the two apps look like. So to kind of show you, if you're creating a new group, it'll automatically create a group. This version will ask you to add yourself. So I'll say Alex, and then I'll have a mobile view where I can go through the weeks and then select the day and then show what times I have availability. So if we look on the right hand side, let's see if we can do something similar. We don't have, it's, it's requiring your name. I'm gonna say Alex here, let's create a new group automatically creates a group ID, and then same thing, we can go to Thursday and select multiple times here. We can see this is the desktop view. Likewise for Claude, you can see it has something similar. So for the Time Vault app, if we reload, we can enter a character code, join a group, and we can see our name to click, or we can add someone else. So if we wanna add Joe here, and we can see right now, uh, everyone has selected that, but if we click these times, we'll see optimal times for two out of two and everyone is available. So that's really nice. We can uh, refresh again, hit that code, and I can either select myself here and edit my times. So something I've actually found right here is <laughs> the dates are actually wrong. So even though I'm selecting Friday, June 27th, it's showing Thursday, June 22nd. So if I do Wednesday here, 8 a.m. saying Tuesday. So that's wrong, but that's interesting. But if I load again and say I wanna create a third person, you can see the optimal times here. I can go through, we'll click Thursday, even though it'll say Wednesday is the everyone's available time. On top of that, I have a calendar integration that doesn't really work. 
just magically syncs with the calendar even though it didn't ask me to log in. And it has a location and map. I can add my, my location, but this is all dummy data. So I'm not too worried about that, but it's in there. And then settings where I can set the start and end times, which is fine, it works great. Um, shows you the group code and the hours range. So they have some quick presets, which all work. So afternoon, evening, business hours, extended hours. You see a nice quirk here where it goes to 12 p.m. instead of 12 a.m. And you can save changes. So it's far from perfect, but uh, you can, you can kind of see what it did based on the initial prompt. Likewise, on the right here, if I want to add a person, I need to go here. And for some reason, I need to enter my name twice to actually show up. So if I hit join group, I had already hit Alex, uh, but now it says current members, Alex. I can add a second person, Joe, and say, ah, okay, those are the times. It does show the optimal meeting times, does nice 11 a.m. through 2 p.m. That's great. Um, and then I can add probably a third person. We'll add Rich here. And we can see that the optimal time here automatically updates, has everything there. Uh, thankfully, this one does work. So if I say Thursday, June 26, it does work. Um, it shows a different week and then different days as well. I kind of like that it says day four of seven too. That's that's kind of nice. I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really specify any of that. Uh, it has the group members here has the location, um, doesn't have the ability to search for any activities or anything like that. Um, and it has basic uh, time range stuff. So same thing, morning, evening. And it also does the same thing where it ends at 12 p.m. It's far from perfect, but you know, it's uh, it's there. And then I, I have a leave option so I can, I can join. One thing I'm bummed about is it didn't have like a selection like it did on the Bolt version. Um, but you can see like a majority of the capabilities are there. Um, both of the icons I asked it to do are not great. How hard was it to actually do this once I had the prompt? Honestly, from the Bolt perspective, it was actually a lot easier. Um, it got most of it done the first time around. I did ha ask it to rename it, create a logo, um, and then it actually hid the location and settings icons on the mobile responsive version. Um, and then I asked to see for locations as a map pen with everyone's persons, but it just added dummy data and also added, asked it to add calendar integration, which also it, they were just glorified buttons. It didn't actually plug into anything or walk me through how to plug it into APIs. Uh, and that's pretty much everything that I did on the bolt side on the Claude side. I actually had to do a few iterations of this. So I started by going through the artifacts uh, portion. So if we look at artifacts here, I clicked new artifact. Then it asks you what kind uh, of artifact you wanna create. I just clicked F done websites. And then it goes straight into asking like very specific questions, almost like a developer would. Um, but I just pasted my specific prompt that I'd used. It read all that. And then I said, perfect, let's get to building. It built it, and then I, I found a few issues. So it, when you created a thing, it didn't ask for your name, so it just created user one. There was no way to correct that. And it's still not perfect now, but I didn't want to do too many revisions. Um, and then I asked you create or edit that first user. And then I also needed to be able to go to the first page because when I hit this refresh button, it doesn't start at the beginning uh, like the Bolt version does where I kind of start as if it's a new page, which is kind of a bummer. So I just kind of uh, went for a standard leave option. After that, I had to go through, I had other issues. It was like the days were squished and on the left-hand side. So I asked it to fix that. And then it was recording time preferences regardless of what group you were. So if I started a new group, I would have all the time preferences of all the people entered beforehand, which is definitely not good and makes it not useful at all. So I asked it to do that, which it fixed. I had a few save data issues. It just says ask Claude to resolve, which I did a few times go through twice and then on the third time I just saw a completely white screen and then that gave us version according to Claude version 13 and that's like the final app. So how hard is it to actually publish and share these on both sides? So I'll show you the Claude side first and then I'll show you the Bolt side. So something unique on the Claude side of things is if you publish an artifact and then you unpublish it, you can't just republish it again. It tells you that you have to create a brand new artifact to publish it again. 
So initially I was going to say, all you need to do is say, create a new artifact for me to publish. But uh, Claude decided to rework everything, make improvements. And then when I was trying to enter a name, every time I put a letter, it would kick me out. I tried six different variations of saying, that's not working, that's not working, that's not working. It was stuck in a loop. So I just said, revert it back to version 13, the one we had earlier. And uh, that seemed to do the trick, and now we can publish. So you can see really quick, it'll, this is uh, what will pop up when you try to publish the artifact. You can hit publish and copy link. And if you have this link and you open it in a new thing, it gives just the artifact. So people can actually play around with it. I'll put it in the description below so you can play with it if you really want to. Uh, and then on top of that, you can hit customize artifact and it'll open a new chat and allow you to make any modifications you want to the app, which I thought that was pretty cool. From the Bolt perspective, if you wanted to deploy this app, you could hit deploy. You'll see it'll deploy to Netlify and then you can have a link there that you can share as well. So overall, I feel like Bolt got it nailed a little bit better and had some very good aspects to it. However, I noticed issues later on. Uh, I had been playing around on a separate project with trying to add like map integrations or syncing to calendars. And every time I asked it to do that, it would just add dummy data rather than adding the necessary integrations. Truth be told, I don't necessarily think Claude is going to be much better at that at this stage. Most of this is very surface level, but I do see there being a place for things, especially in Claude kind of creating this app store where you can see all these artifacts, take existing ones, and then make your own modifications. So it's gonna be really easy to have really well-developed things and make it a little bit more personal to you or add any tweaks or features that you really wanna add. I hope this gave you some insight on Claude's new artifact system and, and how they're allowing people to publish things and especially how it compares to something a little bit more established like Bolt. Let me know in the comments how you've been using this if you have or what you plan to build with either Claude or Bolt. Catch you later.